I'm Nolan Pettit, and we're here inside WBON TV studios, and this is your Greater Richmond Area Sunrise News Brief. Officers in Somerset were dispatched yesterday after an alleged robbery and assault. The incident was said to have occurred on Barnett Street at around 104 yesterday afternoon. Witnesses state that while at home, two men attempted to enter the residence. Jordan Woodall attacked one of the assailants while Nathaniel Pence confronted the other. During the fight, Pence was stabbed multiple times, leading to him being sent to the UK hospital for his injuries. When police arrived, they arrested Marty Cow and charged him with assault first degree and robbery first degree. Cow made a statement about his involvement to officers and is now currently being lodged in the Pulaski County Detention Center. A Laurel County man is now facing charges after he allegedly crashed a stolen vehicle while driving under the influence. 32-year-old Tony Rourke allegedly wrecked a vehicle on South Laurel Road last night at around 6.45 p.m. Reports state that Rourke was heavily intoxicated and that the stolen white Ford F-150 flipped multiple times during the wreck before hitting another vehicle. Rourke is now being lodged in the Laurel County Detention Center where he's facing charges of operating a motor vehicle under the influence, leaving the scene of an accident, failure to render aid, second-degree disorderly conduct, giving an officer false identifying information, and reckless driving. The Kentucky State Police are currently working an investigation in Owsley County after two individuals were found dead in a home last night. According to authorities, the couple were found dead at a residence off of Highway 30 at around 5.30 p.m. The victims' identities have now been released as 39-year-old Krista Noble and 50-year-old Michael Little, and officials state that it appears the couple were killed in some sort of altercation. Troopers are still canvassing the area in search of more clues and evidence, while both victims have been sent to the state coroner's office for an autopsy. Authorities are asking if you have any information regarding the case to contact the Kentucky State Police. Thanks for watching the Greater Richmond Area Sunrise News Brief. For more news all day, check out WBONTV.com. I'm Nolan Pettit.